Then the man who had received the one talent, he came and said, Master, I knew that you were a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. By the way, this statement is a very important statement. Now, just Jesus speaking, Jesus made up this sentence. He made the sentence for the story. Look at me, please, I beg you. Oh, God. He made up the sentence, so the sentence must be important. He said, the guy's mentality. He's explaining what the guy is thinking. <laughs> In other words, this man never got his money to grow or multiply not because the money couldn't. His mentality stopped the money from growing. Jesus said, he said in his mind, this guy said to himself, I know you. You mean. That's what the statement means. The man was jealous. He was angry at a wealthy man. Some of you feel a way about me right now since I told you I was dead free. Who does he think he is? See, that's why you ain't gonna never get it. Listen, you can never get help from someone you're jealous of. Write that down, please. If you are jealous, they can't help you. I'm telling you. If you see somebody blessed, go find out how they did that. If you are angry and hate somebody, you cannot receive from them. You can never receive from someone you don't respect. This man did not respect the master. He was suspicious of the master. He was jealous of his wealth. As a matter of fact, it's even worse. He felt that the master got his money by using him. Who does a behavior? So why should I give him more? That's not kingdom culture. Verse 25, he says, therefore I was afraid. Fear and money don't go together. I was afraid. I think I have a good question, you know. The question is, what was he afraid of? You know, it, it, it doesn't really say what he's afraid of, you know. Look. So the fear had to be related to the statement before that. Because I'm suspicious of you and don't like you and you think you're better than me and got everything and yap, 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 yap. I was afraid to get involved in it. His mentality stopped his multiplication. Money is an idea. See here, take your money back, he says. His master replied, you wicked and lazy. Everybody say wicked? On the line of this. We almost think of wicked people as those who are doing witchcraft and turning salt down on people and all kinds of things. He said, look, there's wicked people sitting right here in this building. A wicked person is somebody who mismanaged money. We think of a witch as being wicked. But if that's true, you're sitting next to one. Don't know where the paycheck gone. Buying things they can't afford. Investing in things they can't afford. Buying stuff, trying to compete with everybody else. That means spending money on shoe and watch and thing because it's a fad. Hey, be delivered! If you buy stuff to be accepted by the world, you are not in the kingdom. Because remember, we are in the world but not of the world. So tonight, in Jesus' name, may you be delivered from fashion. That stuff will make you poor. Amen. 